was a time when the warm glow of morning filled this old body of mine with joy. But now, the sight of each new dawn just fills me with concern. The sun is a cauldron of blazing hot gases. For more than four and a half billion years, its heat has kept us alive. But along with that warmth, there lurks a hidden danger. Deadly ultraviolet rays, or UVs, that can harm all life on our planet. Luckily, we're protected by a brave little band of defenders at the very edge of space. The ozone molecules that make up our planet's ozone layer. Despite their tiny size, our ozone defenders are amazingly strong and smart. They let in the sun's life-giving warmth whilst keeping out the deadly UV rays. And things might have gone on this way forever were it not for a new threat rising up from below. Chlorofluorocarbons, better known as CFCs, are the chemicals that cool our air conditioners and refrigerators. CFCs are safe inside their machines, but once they escape, they begin a 25-year journey up to the top of the atmosphere where they attack the ozone layer without mercy. And once the ozone molecules have to fight the UVs and the CFCs, it's just a matter of time until the ozone layer weakens and breaks. Alberta Albatross, my little friend. And who might you be? Ozzy Ozone. Pleased to meet you, Mum. But tell me, please, what above Earth is going on? Let's go and see. The chemicals that attach you are CFCs. They've been used in man's machines for over 50 years, and they're quite safe until they are let out. When the developed nations realized these chemicals were dangerous, they replaced them with new ozone-friendly products. But some countries, like this one, still cling to the bad old ways. Pesticides like methyl bromide can be just as dangerous. And industries aren't the only ones to blame. No! Oh, this is terrible! We must stop them, Alberta. We can try. Excuse me, sir. Sir, over here. Sorry to bother you. But don't you realize you're releasing dangerous chemicals when you break those old refrigerators? Those molecules you release go up into the sky and cause trouble for all of us. So please don't do it again. Don't be afraid. We only want to protect you.
Some fire extinguishers use halon molecules that also attack the ozone layer. He got that nasty burn because chemicals like the ones he just released are destroying the protective ozone layer we've created at the top of the sky. And it's not just sunburns we're trying to prevent. UV rays wrinkle your skin and make you look much older. They cause cataracts on your eyes that can lead to blindness. And they can weaken the body's natural resistance to disease. Even worse, while your bodies are growing, little ones like you are particularly in danger because UV damage now could give you cancer later on. Don't be scared. This is serious business, but there are ways to defend yourself. Protect your skin by covering your arms and legs. Wear a hat to protect your face. Sunglasses to protect your eyes. And sunscreen for the rest. Stay indoors when the sun is high. And always try to stay in the shade. And ask your parents to make sure that their old refrigerators and air conditioners are disposed of by approved technicians, specially trained people who won't let the CFCs escape. It's important, not just for you, but for your children. Because even if no more bad chemicals are released into the atmosphere, it will take at least 50 years before we can fully repair the ozone layer. Will you help us? And now, Alberta, after all I've seen down here, I'd like to get back to work. Be sure to tell your parents, teachers and friends about the things you've learnt. And don't forget, boys and girls around the world can make a difference. Because when it comes to protecting the environment, every action counts. Alberta. Thank you, Ozzy. Don't forget, boys and girls around the world can make a difference because when it comes to protecting the environment, every action counts.